Hi, Harold Hemmings Recaps here. Welcome back to the Black Mirror series recap. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a drama, science fiction series from Black Mirror Seasons 2, called Be Right Back. In this episode, it will tell a story about loss and the way we cope with it when lives are immortalized through the use of the internet and social media. This episode is not just a reflection on grief in the digital age, but also on the intangible side of humans that make up the people we love. The movie begins with Martha and Ash, a young and romantic couple who just moved to a remote house in the countryside. Ash is a social media addict and compulsively checks his phone for updates on his social network pages, while Martha is currently working as an illustrator. There, Ash tells Martha that his mom always kept all the photos and memories of the deceased ones in the attic, especially when his brother and his dad died. After dinner, the couple have intercourse, not knowing that it will be the last time they do it together. The next day, Ash goes out alone to return the rented van to the owner. Martha refuses to join because she has a deadline that needs to be finished by the end of the day. It's already night but Ash still has not come back. When Martha calls the van's owner, she says that the van has not been returned and this makes her very worried. A few moments later, a police car comes across to their house, claiming that Ash has been killed in a car accident. This accident leaves Martha alone and grief-stricken in an unfamiliar house of his deceased boyfriend. At the funeral, one of Martha's friends, Sarah, tells her about a new online service which allows people to talk and interact with the deceased one. With good intention, she also signs Martha up to the platform without telling her, hoping that she will get better. At first, Martha rejects the offer and walks away from Sarah. Days goes by, Martha tries to move on from Ash and starts redecorating the house. While checking her email, she discovers that Sarah had signed her up to the new online service and she also spots an email from the death Ash. She manages to ignore that email at the beginning, but Sarah explains that the system works by collecting and using all Ash's past online communication and social media profiles, creating a new virtual profile of Ash. She then is overwhelmed by grief and soon discovers that she is pregnant. Becoming emotionally unstable, she finally decides to respond to the artificial Ash's email. She starts to communicate with him through instant messaging. She also informs her pregnancy to the android Ash. Demand for more, Martha starts uploading videos and photos of Ash to the platform's database, allowing it to duplicate Ash's voice to talk with Martha over the phone. The android's voice surprises Martha because it talks in the same way as Ash. Martha begins to believe that she is really talking to her dead boyfriend. She becomes addicted to it as she keeps talking to the android Ash almost non-stop, ignoring the calls from her sister. It turns out that the android Ash is also able to process visual information by using the camera on Martha's phone. Martha also keeps the android Ash updated about her pregnancy condition. While walking out from the hospital, Martha accidentally drops her phone and suddenly has a panic attack when she temporarily disconnects from the android Ash. Inevitably, Martha craves more as it's not enough to just talk on the phone. Thus, the android Ash tells her about the advanced technology from the online service provider that is still in its experimental phase. Even though it is not cheap, Martha decides to buy it. The product turns out to be a body made of synthetic flesh that Android Ash can be uploaded into. Magic happens after Martha finishes activating the body. The end result is an android that looks almost exactly like Ash, only missing minor details such as a mole on his neck, which appears as soon as Martha talks about it. Despite the android manages to satisfy her sexually, she quickly becomes frustrated by it constantly doing what she says without question. The differences between the real Ash and Android Ash becomes obvious. Though it can duplicate Ash's skin pattern almost exactly the same, it just can't perform human emotions. It can laugh, but it can't feel joy. Even when it is in the same room, it leaves Martha on her own, now with the added burden of trying to convince herself to love an Android version of Ash. One night, Martha realizes that she can't sleep next to him knowing it is not real and forces him to leave, which he immediately does, causing her to snap at him and tell him the real Ash wouldn't just leave and would argue about it, but Android Ash is incapable of that. Martha finally demands it to leave the house and he does. The next morning, she finds it standing near the fence of the house. Android Ash explains that it can't go further than a certain distance from the activation point, which is the house, unless Martha is with him. Martha then desperately brings the Android to the edge of a tall cliff and orders it to jump off. It agrees to do so, but that only makes Martha even angrier, saying that the real Ash would not have willingly jumped, instead would be afraid and cry for his life. The android Ash responds by begging for its own life, causing Martha to realize that she can't bring herself to get rid of it. The scene jumps to several years later. 
Martha is shown to have raised her daughter and still lives in the countryside house, keeping the android ash in the attic. As they cut the cake, her daughter asks from another piece, claiming it will be for android ash in the attic. She only allows her daughter to see it on weekends, but it's her daughter's birthday, so she is allowed to go into the attic to give the android a piece of birthday cake. Her daughter reveals in the conversation with the android that she knows it does not eat, so she just uses him to get an extra slice of the cake. The girl then asks her mom to come up and join them, and after some hesitation, she does. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.